What are the five firearms that you need in order to accomplish any mission? What's up guys, welcome back. I'm gonna to talk to you about a real fun subject today and uh, that's guns, all right? I have a lot of guns. Uh, I have too many guns because in all actuality, all you need is five, the five right guns and you will be able to do anything that you need to do with a firearm, right? And that's including, including hunting, self-defense, uh, sports, uh, shooting, competition, whatever it is that you want to do. You can get it done with five. We're going to talk about those five. We're going to talk about why those five. Uh, and we're going to talk specifics in terms of make, model, and the caliber. All right. So uh, as you guys know, we're not affiliated with any companies here on this, on this, uh, it's not a podcast, on this YouTube channel. So if you want to help us keep it that way, uh, just please join us on Patreon and support us there. If you feel the uh, need to do so, we would appreciate it. It helps us keep this going and uh, it helps us be able to bring you the truth about products and uh, we're not beholden to anybody. So here we go. Let's dig into this. We'll start off with number one. One of the five that you need, that everyone needs, is a handgun, obviously. Uh, I have chosen the Glock 19 as the one out of the five handguns. The great thing about the Glock 19 is not only it has all the durability and the reliability that's built into every Glock, the great thing about the 19 is that it's small enough that you can use it as a concealed carry weapon, but you can also use it out on the range uh, doing combat shooting, doing competition shooting, whatever it is. It's highly modular and uh, it's just a really great gun that can be dual purpose, both out on the range and concealed carry. So I like the Glock 19, nine millimeter. If you don't like Glock and you choose your handgun uh, in a different make and model, I would get it in nine millimeter. The reason we stick with NATO calibers is because the ammo is super easy to find. You can, well, you used to could go into a Walmart and buy a box of nine millimeter. Uh, pretty much any sporting goods store around the country is gonna have nine millimeter, 40 caliber, 45, and all those other calibers are a little harder to find. So nine millimeter handgun, Glock 19. This is one of the five. You can do a lot of things with this. It's a multi-purpose handgun serves a lot of great functions. Um, obviously this would be used for personal protection or for shooting out on the range and just having fun. So there we go. There's your handgun that I would pick. All right, the next number two out of the number five. We got this unit right here. All right, this is a Remington Model 700. Um, this is a high power centerfire rifle and obviously you can see we got a big old nasty scope mounted up on this thing. This is a Vortex Strike Eagle, uh, five by 25 by 55. The bolt gun, all right, what capability does the bolt gun gives us? give us? Well, this gives us the capability to hunt big game. This is chambered in 308, all right, 308. I would buy my bolt gun in either 308 or 300 Winchester Magnum. Okay, this gives us the capability to shoot a long distance. All right, so big game hunting, uh, long distance shooting, that's what we're gonna use our bolt gun for. I highly recommend the Remington Model 700. It's a super simple and accurate design. Uh, this is the bolt gun that we used or our snipers used in the SEAL teams and it's just super reliable. It's been around forever and I like everything about the Remington Model 700. But the reason this again is in the lineup of the number five a, uh, a high caliber bolt action rifle is because we want to have the capability to shoot long range and hunt big game anywhere in the country. So that's why a bolt gun is important. That's number two. All right. Number three, one of my old trusties <laughs> right here. All right. This is a Ruger model 1022. Okay. This is in a 22 caliber rimfire uh, um, bullet and it's just a bomb proof gun, all right? A bomb proof gun. Why do we have the 1022 in the lineup of the top five? This gives us the capability to shoot small game, all right? By small game, I mean squirrels, raccoons, possums, uh, rabbits, whatever it is you want, and you don't have to worry about destroying 
the, 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 the meat or the game. Obviously, if we shot a squirrel with our 308 bolt action rifle, it would cost us a lot of money because those bullets are expensive and it would just destroy the animal. So a 1022 gives us the capability to small game hunt. Uh, and the 22 caliber rifle, it's just a great round. It, you can put 500 bullets in your front pocket of your blue jeans, right? And take off and go, go out in the woods and have a good day uh, squirrel hunting or whatever that may be. So as you can see, this one's had a lot of use and that's why it's in the top five. I've used this gun for years and years. I've carried it miles and miles through the woods. Everybody should have a 22 caliber rifle and I would never buy one that wasn't a Ruger 1022 because they're just bomb proof, proven weapon systems. All right, so that was number three. Number four, the number four gun that everybody should have is a shotgun, okay? This is a Mossberg. Uh, I think this is a 830, I think this is a 835. Um, yeah, it'll shoot two and three quarter, three inch or three and a half inch shells. Oh, my cameraman's telling me about this gun. Um, I don't even care what model it is. I just know it's a Mossberg shotgun and it works. And it's, you could literally throw this thing into the mud and pick it up and it's gonna shoot. Uh, what I love about the Mossberg is where the safety's at. All right, another good option for a shotgun is a Remington Model 870. Um, I don't like the safety on the 870. I like the safety up here on top on the Mossberg better. And uh, it's a pump action. I don't like automatic shotguns because they can be finicky about what shells you're shooting through them. And why is the shotgun in the five, the lineup of five guns that everybody should own? Well, this gives us the capability to uh, go duck hunting, bird hunting, wing shooting, whatever it is, we can shoot skeet with it. We can have a lot of fun with this weapon um, and specifically bird hunting, that's where this is gonna be used. Another thing that's good about a shotgun, you can actually use a shotgun as a breaching tool, all right? So you not only, I don't not only look at a shotgun as a something to go out hunting with, but I can use this as a breaching tool to blow out dead bolts, door handles, uh, whatever it may be. I'm not big on using a shotgun for a self-defense weapon. I would mainly just use it for breaching or for duck hunting or bird hunting. Um, again, the Mossberg is a great option. Pump action because it's going to shoot and feed any ammo that you put in it. And um, you're going to be good to go. You can put multiple different chokes in these guns and uh, use it for multiple different purposes. So this is a really, really utilitarian type gun. All right, Mossberg. 12 gauge shotgun, all right? Why would I do 12 gauge? For the same reason I do nine millimeter, 308 and 556, because they're easy to find. You can find 12 gauge shotgun rounds at any sporting goods store. You start looking for 410, you start looking for 20 gauge, 28 gauge, 16 gauge. They're way harder to find than a 12 gauge shell, all right? That's why all my shotguns are chambered in 12 gauge. Number five that I believe every person should own is a M4 style rifle, all right? So this M4 style rifle, what would I use this for and why do I have this style of weapon in the top five? Well, one would be for personal defense, um, self-protection. Obviously, it's a great rifle to use in a combat scenario. Other capabilities that this weapon would be great for would be varmint hunting. This gives us the capability to go out and shoot coyotes and uh, small game varmint hunting. It's just a great caliber for that. Um, high magazine capacity, obviously, and it's just an all around uh, bomb proof weapon to have, right? Um, when we don't want to get out and shoot something with a 308 like a coyote, right? We would take our M4 rifle out chambered in 5.56. Um, and yeah, and also for out on the range, these are fun, fun rifles to shoot out on the range and just have a good time with. So I think that everybody should have a M4 style rifle uh, in their lineup of the number five. So this was number five. So we have a handgun. If you're wondering what weapons you should buy, we have a Glock 19, all right, handgun. We have a bolt action, center fired high power rifle. This is a 308 Remington Model 700. We have a 22 caliber rimfire rifle. That's the uh, Ruger Model 1022. 
We have our Mossberg 12 gauge shotgun, which nobody knows what model it is. And then we also have our M4 style rifle. Uh, with these five guns, guys, you can actually you can actually go and hunt and do and sport and do whatever it is you need to do with five guns. That's all you need. If you disagree with me, go ahead and chime in. Um, if you agree with me, go ahead and chime in too. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enough said. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you got something out of this content, please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and drop us a comment. We always love hearing back from all of you guys that tune in. Enough said.